What's up fellas and it's time to give you another Just Gaming Fellas Easter Egg Guide. This Easter Egg can be done with any amount of players, but solo is the easiest way to complete this Easter Egg. So before you start the game, make sure you put some of your best fortune cards on to help you stay alive. And also before we start the first step, make sure you have powered up the whole map, linked all the portals to open up Pack-a-Punch. Also make sure you have the city con built, and fellas, to start the Easter Egg, you have to have been to Pack-a-Punch at least once. And then the next round after being into Pack-a-Punch, you will see the UFO on the mountain light up, and your screen will shake, and you will hear four tones. This means you can start the Easter Egg. So the first step is to go and get the city com from the DJ. If you don't know how to get the city com, I'll whack our guide in the description. So the DJ will be in either of his three spawn locations. There's one near Bang Bangs in Polar Peak, one in the Journey to Space area, and one right here in the Kepler system. And the city com needs to be placed onto the floor three times. Overall, there are seven locations where you can put down the SETI com, and I'm going to show you now where all seven locations are. One location is in the Polar Peak on the floor right here. The second location is where the Colour Fountains are, and you can place the SETI com right here. The third location is near the fountain in the Kepler system. The fourth location is near the spinning trap that's in Journey to Space. The fifth location is underground in the kitchen next to Stamina Up. The sixth location is in front of the bumper cars. And the last location is before you head into Polar Peak. So this is how the SETI com step works. And also this guide is going to show you how to smash this step with the best setup ever. So make sure you are set with good perks and good weapons. The upgraded starting pistol is a great gun to use. But the best weapon is the upgraded howitzer. And this gun will help you complete these three SETI com challenges. But make sure you've got bomb stoppers on or you'll die. And when you are set with weapons and perks and have the SETI com picked up, go around the map and see in which of the seven locations the SETI com needs to be placed in. Make sure you walk over the locations, don't run or you won't be able to put the part down. So when you find the location, place the SETI com down and for the first one, you need to defend the SETI com for 60 seconds from zombies. Don't let the zombies hit the SETI com, you can see the timer counting down and the health bar on the SETI com. If you fail this and the SETI com is destroyed, all you do is wait till next round, go find the DJ, get the SETI com and try again. But if you fail a SETI com, a brute will spawn, but you can always use that brute to help get some wonder weapons. And when you complete the SETI com, a nuke will go off and you can pick up the SETI com and that is one out of three complete. So now you want to get building traps to help you protect the SETI com, because the next time you place the SETI com down, you have to protect it for 90 seconds and this is pretty tough to do. So next round you can start the next SETI com challenge. My second one was in the Kepler system. I put down a boom box first. I also used a fortune card to use this epic weapon for 30 seconds. And then for the rest of the SETI com, I got the upgraded starting pistol out and smashed those zombies down. And that helped me complete the second SETI com. And now onto the last SETI com location that will last for 2 minutes. And this one is the hardest because of how long it goes on for. So before you do this, you need to be very set with weapons, have a Medusa device or boom box on hand and also have a good fortune card to use. So for me, this location was outside the bumper cars. I had a Medusa device to use when I needed it. And so I started it off. I used this awesome weapon for 30 seconds. And when that 30 seconds finished, I got the upgraded howitzer out and this gun is unreal for the SETI com. You don't need to spam it, just wait till a good amount of zombies appear and then shoot. You will spawn some crawlers, but just pop them with a noob tube. With full ammo on the howitzer, it will last you for the rest of this SETI com. And if you need more help with this fellas, just comment and I will help you because I've done this step too many times. And when you have completed this SETI com, pick up the SETI com and you have bossed that step. So now you need to wait 2-3 to three rounds. When those rounds have passed, go find the DJ and it will give you a speaker. And while you are completing those few rounds before the DJ gives you the speaker, you need to be getting some wonder weapons sorted out. The wonder weapons are a must for the last few steps. You need two wonder weapons at least. I went for the discard wonder weapon and the shredder. I'll put links in the description for all four wonder weapons if you don't know how to get these. So the next step you have to do a Simon Says Step. So before you put the speakers down, get full ammo on your wonder weapons, get the best perks on, get a boombox ready or anything that will distract the zombies, get your best fortune cards ready and also smash a stamina up on. It is a great perk for this step. And when you are set and ready to go, make your way to the middle portal, place a speaker in each of the four locations. 
you'll put one down in front of Polar Peak, the Kepler system, Journey into Space and one in front of the middle portal. And when you have placed all speakers down, press X to play the tone. And when this happens, all four speakers will light up in different colours. And when this happens, you want to look at which colours are on which speakers. So pause the game and write these down or even draw it out. And as you can see here, I drew out the speakers and wrote next to them which colour that speaker has. Red for the portal, yellow for journey into space, blue for polar peak and green for the Kepler system. Now you know the colours, you need to hold the zombies up. You don't need to kill any zombies, just hold them up and run around the portal. And now you have to do three Simon Says orders. The first one will start and you need to look up to the UFO. The UFO will show four colours. So for me, the first order was yellow, blue, green. And after the first three colours, you can pause it, write down the order. And we know which colours left because it hasn't been shown yet. So the last one for me must be red. So write the order down and then you gotta be pretty rapid in pressing on each speaker. So press X on each speaker in the order and when you have done it you can keep hoarding. You'll see the UFO fly away for a bit and you will also get a max ammo by killing one zombie. If you fail the order a brute will spawn and if you don't apply the order in time don't finish the whole order or a brute will spawn. Just let the time run out and wait for the same order to be shown from the UFO. So now onto the second Simon Says order. Again keep the hoarding going and now look up to the UFO, write down the order and for me the order was blue, red, green, yellow. I always try to time the hoarding right so I can put in the first order as I'm walking past it. I do use cryo grenades to help stop the zombies from smacking me. So that is two out of three done. Same again fellas for the last one, wait for the UFO to show the order and this time my order was yellow, blue, red, green. Again I paused the game, wrote down the order and then applied the order. A boom box is always helpful when doing the last order because this last order is always the hardest. And when you do the last Simon Says, you can kill zombies, you will see the UFO flashing to know you have bossed it and a Max Hammer will spawn too. Now you want to keep hauling the zombies and you have to kill all the clowns that will spawn. These will spawn out of each portal and you don't want to die here fellas, they are pretty deadly these clowns. I did have a third weapon to use to kill these with so I don't waste ammo on the wonder weapons. So all you gotta do is kill all the clowns and when you kill the last clown you will see a red glow come from the middle portal. This red light means the alien has spawned which is now the boss battle. So for this boss battle you have to keep on moving at all times or the alien will kill you. So the best thing to do is not kill any zombies, hold them up. You want to follow the route I take and just keep repeating that hoarding technique. And while I am hoarding, I'm turning around and whenever I get the chance, I'm spamming bullets into the alien with my wonder weapons. He will teleport onto roofs a lot, so whenever you get the chance, just spam him. You can see the health go down from the colours on the alien's chest. It'll go from green to orange and then to red. So the way to kill the alien is pretty simple. There are three steps. The first step is to keep shooting the alien until he stops. And then you will see a bubble. And when this happens, you want to distract the zombies if you can. And all you do is knife the alien's back. And when you knife the alien's back, you will remove one of its fuses. And now you've done that, you can get back into your hoarding routine and keep shooting the alien. If you shoot a zombie now, you will get a max ammo. If you don't have enough time to knife the alien's back, that's fine. Just keep hoarding, shoot a zombie, and you will also get a max ammo. So then fellas, for a second time, keep spamming the alien with your wonder weapons until he stops for a second time. Again, distract the zombies, knife the alien's back, and you will have removed the second fuse. So now, get your max ammo by shooting a zombie, and what you need to do now is keep shooting the alien until it's dead. The alien will be on red health, and when this happens, just shoot him as much as you can until he dies. And when he dies, you will go mental, but also head to the portal, pick up the fuses, and head inside to pack a punch. You can now press X on the pack a punch, which means you can double pack a punch your guns, but more importantly, you can now pack a punch your wonder weapons. So pack a punch your wonder weapons, head back into the map, and now you need to shoot these blue lights with your wonder weapons. Before you shoot the last one, make sure the UFO is over the portal, and then shoot the last blue light, and you will see the UFO get taken out by the laser, and the UFO will be no more. And there's only one more thing to do now fellas, head to the portal, press X to get the soul key, and boom, 
That is the Zombies in Spaceland Easter Egg complete. You can now play on with your awesome Pack-a-Punch Wonder weapons. And in my game, I got to round 40 and quit. Decent round. So there you go fellas, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just comment. Please subscribe to my channel, that would be really kind of you. And I'll see you later.